everyone, it's Coach Christine and welcome to this week's edition of Christine's Kitchen. So we are going to have a real fun, yummy treat for you today. First thing you need to do, grab your aprons. So we don't want to make mess, even if there's only five ingredients in what we're doing. So we will put our apron on and talk about what's going to happen here. It is that time of year, we're right on the cusp of seasons. You kind of want comfort food and casseroles, yet you're dreaming of being in Hawaii and having tropical fruits and barbecue and teriyaki and all of those delicious flavors. So we are going to do a five ingredient dish that is sure to please both of those desires. Today we are making a teriyaki chicken casserole. So easy, anybody can do it. And we're keeping it scaled down to make it really fast and easy on that weeknight that you come home and you're going, I do not want to cook dinner. This is it, five ingredients. You're going to need rice, some frozen vegetables, a little bit of edamame, your chicken or chicken substitute, and teriyaki sauce. You can always make your teriyaki sauce from scratch. Today we are going store-bought and we're using a sugar-free option, which keeps the sodium and the calories down. Okay, for the rice, you're going to start with anywhere from one and three quarters cups to three cups, depending on whether you're doing a single or a double recipe, all depends on how big your family is. We literally did a minute rice. So got the couch, microwaved it, pour it into your um, pan spray casserole dish. Step one, done, easy as that. In the background, you're going to want to have your oven preheated to 350 so that as soon as this is assembled, it is ready to go together. Next on your list, grab a bag of frozen stir fry vegetables. This one is 16 ounces. If you're doubling it, obviously, do a big bag or two. Just dump your vegetables right in on top of the rice. After that, you want to add in a little bit of edamame. So I grabbed the frozen, already shelled edamame from the grocery store to make life even more simple. Take a half of a cup of that, add it to your casserole dish. Then you're going to grab a pound of shredded chicken. If you're doing chicken tenders or chicken breast, you could do a pound of meat and just place the breasts onto the top of your casserole and then let everything cook together. I'm doing a plant-based chicken alternative, so equivalent of a pound of shredded chicken, we are just going to pour on top here. So far, easy breezy. Really, I mean, what is that, 90 seconds of your life? This is already fully assembled. Next thing you want to do is reserve about a half of a cup of your teriyaki sauce for the end, and then grab your jar and literally just pour the remainder over your casserole dish. Mix it up with your favorite handy dandy spatula, and dinner is prepped. Easy as that, all ready to go into the oven. I love it, exactly. Here we go. Let's say that you wanna go low carb. Easy swap, do cauliflower, um, rice cauliflower in place of your regular brown rice. Let's say that you need to have um, super high protein, double the chicken. If you are absolutely no carb and you're trying to be completely grain free, double the veggies. And let's say that you need to be gluten free um, or doing 100% plant-based, just read the labels. You can direct message me if you need a plant-based or a vegan teriyaki recipe that is in line um, with all of your dietary needs. So pretty, pretty much that's it, easy breezy. You're gonna put this in the oven at 350. We're gonna bake it for 45 minutes and we will check right back in with you then. 45 minutes and voila, dinner is ready. Come on over, zoom in, take a peek. You want to stir this in the oven maybe halfway through just to make sure that everything is blending and then sauce gets over everything so it's nice and juicy and the chicken is tender. Now that it's out of the oven, here's what we do. Take that extra little bit of teriyaki sauce. We are gonna pour it over the top of everything. Garnish it with a few fresh cut green onions. And that's it, dinner is served. Super duper easy and the pan is incredibly hot, so please be careful when dishing this up. And here is the finished product. Yum, I can't wait to dish this up and have dinner. That's all for today from my 
kitchen to yours. Have a wonderful weekend and we will see you back next week for more simple swaps and great healthy recipes.